Yes. Have these kind of incidents happened with you guys in the previous years and we just don't even know? Absolutely. It happens it happens every year. Right. Every year. It's like every every team I've been on every every year there's arguments. There's it's it doesn't always happen where it's physical. We haven't had that here, but I've had teams um, that I've been on that guys have gotten physical. I've been in fights before. It's just it happened. It's two competitive guys or multiple guys. There's a competitive environment, and and we're frustrated. Let's face it. We're not happy where we are, and it's, it's, it's everything is born out of frustration. Right. Uh, and, you know, hopefully, you know, I think the guys – uh, need to move on, and I think they did. Everybody said their piece, and you know it's time to move on. It's time to play better basketball. We're not playing well as a team. Last night was a was a good direction. I'm going in the right direction, at least the second half. Uh, but we got to. We still got to play. We got a long ways to go. Coach Brooks, how, how shocked were you when John Wall threw the f bomb your way at practice last week? What was your initial reaction to it? <laughs> I know you want to move on, but well, I mean, we, we feel like we have to uh, dive into it a little well, bit. Well, I, I know, I know, I knew I was expecting it this morning. Um, well, we we said a few things back at each other, and like I said yesterday, that uh, we both wish we could have taken it back, and uh, we have to move on. I mean, I I, I respect him. I think he's uh, he's a heck of a player. He he. I love him. Like I said last night, he never complains about a lot uh, of things that ache on his body. The guy's he's sometimes I wonder how he's going to be able to practice today because he's, he's banged up, but he comes back every day. You know, it's it's it's, it's unfortunate it happened, but it, it did happen, and we move on. But the, it was reported that the dispute was about effort, and that's something that fans are seeing. You know, in the first half yesterday, for example, you give up over 70 points, and it seems like guys are shooting threes, they're wide open. In the second half, it looked like a totally different team. What is it about the effort of this team that you want, and how do you get it to happen consistently? Well, we have trouble stopping the basketball. We have trouble guarding the ball. We have to do a better job of closing out to the three-point line. Everybody has to take ownership on their own individual pride, and I have to do a better job of finding guys that are going to do that consistently, and we don't have guys that do that. we got to figure out ways we can move on from those guys and we have to be we have to be diligent in our work and guys myself the coaches and the players we all have to do our job and we have to do it the best of our abilities and sometimes uh you know like like last night I was, i've been frustrated with myself i should have i should be playing thomas Sedaransky more often the guy gives great effort mm-hmm. he cares about what he does he he he, he, he leads every forward I expect him to play, you know, close to 20 minutes every night. We're losing you here. Hopefully hopefully it fixes itself. Can you hear us, Coach? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Did, yeah. did I lose you guys? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Um, but you were talking about playing Sato Moore, and he gave you great minutes last night. Yeah, you know what? He plays hard, and he plays for the team, and he cares. And I, I just I just, you know, I just have to figure out how I can play more. I think I, I think I found it. What? And I am going to do it. I just uh, he, he. You know what? He he has played better recently. He didn't have a good start. He, he for some reason he didn't play with the confidence that I thought he was going to play this year, knowing that he played well last year. But now, I mean, it's both of us. We need to do a better job of. He needs to do a better job of believing in himself, and I need to give him more opportunity so he can do that. I'm sure you don't know the answer because if you knew the answer, it wouldn't happen. But. Why, after all the drama, right? We're literally the we're one of the lead stories, right, across the country when you're talking about sports and talking about hoop. Um, how does that start happen last night? You know, you're down 19, 24 at one point, and then you come back and you have such a better effort in that second half. What, was it something you said? Was it something the players said? Was it unsaid? What was the difference between the first half and the second half? How does the first half even happen? That's a, you would think you'd get that effort in the first half. Well, you know what we got? We got great effort the first five or six minutes, and then they 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 started making shots. And you know, this is the frustrating thing about uh, our start of the season. Hopefully, we can right. uh, get better at it. We when we get down four or five points, it's all it almost like automatically becomes ten. We get down ten, it automatically becomes eighteen. And we got We got to get away from that. We got to we got to play desperate every every possession, like we played in the second half, and we've done that multiple times this year when we're down 20. Unfortunately, we're down 20, but we've come back and cut it to one. You know, last night, we come back and win the game, but it's, it's we got to do better. At halftime, we've definitely showed them a bunch of clips and the things that we just gave them. We might as well just, we might as well just uh, let, 
let them score and then just take the ball out of the basket. So that's how we were playing a couple of possessions that, or a lot of possessions in that first half. Coach, I assume, I'm just curious, you're, you know, you're with these guys all the time. I assume John is the alpha male of that locker room. Is that true? So as, as far as, you know, however John is going, however his mood is, that's sort of how the team mood is going to be. Is that a fair statement? Uh, well, he's the leader, one of our leaders of our team. And I, and I you know, it's so easy to pinpoint things on, on the leaders, but I've always believed that you have to be a star in your role and you have to accept that role. And if you don't accept that role, it's hard to it's hard for a team to function. Whether you play ten minutes, fifteen minutes, or zero minutes, you got to be you got to be uh, not satisfied, but you got to give give yourself to the team. And and sometimes that's hard. And you know it's it's definitely hard with the the way it is nowadays. With those things are out there so instantaneously, and and the money that's being you know made by players. So, but you have to get guys that are believing in the team, whether they play a minute. Or 30 minutes, and like John is one of our leaders. Brad is one of our leaders, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. I mean, their numbers are pretty good every night. And I'm not saying that they played well, but they they played pretty good. Uh, and we, but we have to all play better. You know, I, I think players, leaders lead, and, and the but teams are built on 15 guys. You know, we got we got 14 guys, so it's 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 about guys uh, stepping up and doing their roles and playing their roles, and we haven't shot the ball well individually. Guys got to start making some shots, and they're wide open. Coach, which of the veterans is the most receptive to to being coached? I assume all the young guys listen to you. They're hanging on your every word. They're just happy to be there. But of the core guys, the guys that are playing the most minutes, who do you know your message is being heard by, like night after night? There's no question. Well, I think I think I think all the guys they they understand we have a system in place and they understand that we haven't played well and they want to want to make sure that we we do better. But I, I got a good I got a good relationship with all the guys. I mean, it's not always it's not always easy conversations. Just like the other night, I had a conversation with Marquise Morris that he wasn't going to be starting. I said I don't know how long that will be, but it's going to be some time. You know, the next couple of games we're going to see see how we play and we're trying to. We're trying to spark something from not only from him but from our team, and I think he he played. He didn't play well in the first half, but he played better in the second half. But it's I, I think all the guys understand that we got to play better, and whether they whether they accept what I tell them, that, that that's beside the point. They got to do their job, and I I, I got to do my job. 